What's up everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on Friday, November 9th, 2018. Starting off as usual with the focus on what is available now in the wild and possibly online as well. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure most of these at the time of this recording are available online. So if I mention a particular retailer, you can go check out their website and see if the figure is there or the figure is from the particular wave. And I do want to go ahead and say if I point out an exclusive, just assume that the wave that it is from is available as well because in, in most most likely that's going to be the case basically. So getting to the actual figures here, the Hot Topic exclusive Shiro from Voltron, the Netflix series, is available and of course um, check the website for it. Also with Hot Topic, Elrond from Lord of the Rings and also the Toy Story Sora figure which I know some people have been asking about has become available. And there is another Sora figure, him with the dual blasters which is exclusive to GameStop which which I did see on their website also. Uh, jumping to the top of the screen here, even though they were just revealed, the Wayne's World Pops are already available. This does not include the Target exclusive though of them in the hockey gear. Once that one does become available, of course, I will let you all know. Also at GameStop, they do have the fake Crash Bandicoot, and yes, that does mean that the other fat, excuse me, um, the other Crash Bandicoot Pops are available as well and I know some people pointed that out to me that you've already seen them in GameStop and I've been saying for weeks now that GameStop is getting a lot of items early so do be on the lookout for that. Uh, jumping to the upper right here you see that the Michaels exclusive Newt, Newt's Commander has become available and it has been on their website it may or may not be on the website at the time of the recording but just like with any other retailer do make sure that you check for restocks with it if it is not available. With Hot Topic, they do have their exclusive Mary Poppins, her holding the umbrella. And yes, again, this does mean the other Mary Poppins figures are hitting stores as well. With FYE, they have their exclusive black and white variant of Alita Battle Angel. And um, this one, um, it may not be on the front page of the website. I think they actually replaced it with another item, but it's pretty easy to find on their site. And then you see here Dustin in the hockey gear, which some people found early in Hot Topic, but it may have been register locked. But of course... Stranger Things day just passed and a lot of Stranger Things items are out there in the wild. A lot of pops and also, you know, the other types of items, including the TV moments as well, have become available. And as a matter of fact, um, if you go to uh, Hot Topics website, they still have a lot of the items on there, including the five star figures as well. But most of the new Stranger Things items are commons. You can find them at various retailers. And then again, with Hot Topic being exclusive to them, they do have the Wonder Woman Funkos. So again, there is a lot out there. And like I said, if you see any particular figure here from a certain wave, just assume that at least the majority of the wave is available as well. So focusing on what has happened with the Funko Shop this week, or to be more specific, the Funko Pop-Up Shop, of course, Fruit Pie the Magician became available, and like most ad icons, it did sell out pretty quickly. So that one, if you're interested in it now, you will have to check second market on it. And then the Mumra Funkos just became available, and as far as I know, those are still available, um, and I think they're still actually sitting on the Funko Pop-Up Shop, but if you don't see them there, then that means they've been moved over to the regular Funko Shop, which they will have a link if you go to the Funko pop-up shop okay so again if you're interested in, in the Mumra Funkos they should still be available now with designer con they did uh, Funko did have a lot of pop teas Funkos and also the new cereal bowls with spoons um, that were exclusive to this convention so again these are designer con exclusives now as far as what's going to be available outside of that convention it does seem like the Rugrats Funkos and the Skeletor Funkos will be shared with FYE as far as these other items I'm really not sure at this moment if anything else is going to become available of course if I learn about any of these items being shared beyond that convention then I'll definitely let you all know and we're still focusing on Funkos because the Struts have an FYE exclusive Funko cereal. And this one does not come with a pocket pop. It actually comes with a 7 inch record. And that does include a digital download as well. So you can actually go ahead and pre-order this on FYE's website. And it re officially releases on December 14th. Again, this is available now for pre-order. But it releases officially on December 14th. And if you're a fan of the Struts, you know, let me know of something about them. I'm actually not familiar with them. Maybe I know their, their music and just don't realize that I know their music. So, again, if you are a fan, let me know something about them. 
Now some random bits of information here. There is a do-it-yourself Mickey Mouse pop, which is coming to Michael's, which of course that does make sense because it is basically a craft store. Um, and I don't know exactly when this is going to reach store, you know, Michael's stores. I will let you know once it does officially release. Uh, the box lunch exclusive Fantasia movie moment is releasing on November 20th. And of course it will be online as well. So keep that date in mind, November 20th. And that is a very well designed movie moment. And they're also going to have, again, this is box lunch. They're also going to have an exclusive Sorcerer Mickey pocket pop as well. So be on the lookout for that also. An item that had been rumored for a while is a Nightmare Before Christmas movie moment featuring Lock, Shock, and Barrel in the tub. And that is legit. It was spotted in the background of a Hot Topic video. So that is on the way. No official release date yet, though, because they haven't even done the official reveal just yet. Nurse Betty Boop is also official. That's something else that had been rumored that is on the way. And of course, you see how the pop looks there in the upper right. Very well designed, very colorful figure, even though, you know, it's just a couple of colors. But the red really does stand out there. And then the Amphibian Man pop, some people had been wondering what happened to the Shape of Water pops and it seems like there's been a redesign. And I gotta be honest, I saw the Shape of Water, I really enjoyed the movie and I felt like their original design, which is the one on the left, was pretty spot on with the character. You know, about as much as a pop could be. So I don't know how I feel about this redesign. It looks like they tried to make him darker, which, I mean, the way the movie is lit, maybe that's more accurate, but, um, no, I really like the original design, so I don't know if this is completely official or not. If you've seen the movie, just let me know what you think about this redesign. Like I said, I, I really prefer the one on the left. I thought that was very spot on. So, yeah, like I said, if you've seen the movie, just let me know your thoughts about that. Now, some more random bits of information here. The Sora and Meow Wow um, pop rod, I guess it would be, is still supposed to be coming to GameStop. Still no official release, no official artwork or anything. But, um, you know, it does seem like it is still on the way. So, of course, when I learn more about that, especially if I see any images of it, I will make sure I share that with you all. And then with the latest NBA releases, it had been um, known that there was going to be a, a new LeBron James pop because it was on the back of the box of the other figures. And this one is actually a Foot Locker exclusive. Yes, pops are everywhere now. So, yeah, this uh, LeBron James pop that you see here is actually a Foot Locker exclusive. Now, I don't know anything about the full release. If, they, if you're, like, required to buy anything else to get the pop or not. If I learn more about this, of course, I will share that with you all. I'm really hoping that you just, you know, you go in and you just buy the pop. No other purchase required. But, like I said, when I learn more about that, I will definitely share that with you all. And then, please keep this in mind because I know some people are curious about this. Target's upcoming Friday exclusives. Remember, they're going to have um, Friday exclusives for a couple of weeks in a row. And these are holiday themed releases. That does begin November 16th. OK, so that's next week. So November 16th is when this will start. And you want to check out their website, Target's website, because basically each morning, Friday morning, they're going to reveal what the item is going to be. That's going to be available online and in stores as well. And of course, when I get the heads up on these weekly releases, I will, of course, try to give you all that good heads up about it, especially if I learn exactly when these items are going to go online. I will let you know. And there is a very strong hint. I mean, it's not even a subtle hint that the first item is going to be Pikachu, some variant of Pikachu. Now, some people have been speculating that it's the 10 inch Pikachu, but people are already finding that. So I don't think that's like an official Friday release. And remember, this is holiday themed. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see Pikachu in a Santa hat or something like that. But again, like I said, the hint is not subtle at all. And I'll, I'll read the hint that they shared here. It says this vibrant yellow creature whose name sounds like a sneeze is as fierce as he is adorable. That's Pikachu. I mean, we all know that. So again, the first item is going to be Pikachu related and we'll just have to wait and see exactly what it is. But be on the lookout for this next Friday and definitely make sure you check out the midweek Funko News video. You know, whatever information I've learned, I will share it then. And then to the right here, you see that there are some more Pez dispensers on the way. Um, this Pop Pez dispensers here, they focus on Masters of the Universe. Now, I haven't really been collecting Pez. I do have just two that I purchased, and I'll probably end up putting those into a giveaway eventually, actually. But I do like the look of these Masters of the Universe ones. And you see that there are several chases, including um, Trapjaw. Then they also have He-Man, Skeletor, and Merman. So again, all together, there are four chases within this line. And once these start hitting stores, of course, I will let you all know. 
And some more random information, starting off with a pop that looks very awesome. This is yet another Marvel pop that had been rumored for a while. We see here the Game Reverse Spirit Spider. And it's, uh, I know this has uh, been a costume within the um, actual comics, but this was also featured in the game, of course, the uh, Spider-Man game for PS4. That pop looks amazing to me. I'm definitely looking forward to adding it to my collection. I think it just looks awesome. Even though I wasn't a big fan of the costume within the actual game, I didn't really use it, but still the pop looks amazing. So I, I guess I'm just a sucker for things that look had that Ghost Rider look to them. So yeah, I definitely want to get that one. Uh, then you also see here that a Jim Cramer pop is on the way. That's a very interesting one. And they do have him in the right pose there with that, that pointed fist, basically. Um, and also here, you see the glow on the upcoming Entertainment Earth exclusive Megazord. And um, this one should be releasing very soon. This is a November release and you can still pre-order this one, I believe, on Entertainment Earth's website. Some upcoming pop and t-shirt sets that may be coming out include these following characters, Emperor Palpatine, Endor Han, Ewok Village Leia, General Lando Calrissian, Wicked, CP3, excuse me, C3PO on Throne, Law Gray, and so of course those are all Star Wars characters. Then also Chuck Norris, a <laughs> Chuck Norris pop would be pretty cool. Um, a Die Hard character, I'm not, uh, maybe it's Bruce Willis, it could be another character, who knows, and Britney Spears as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if there actually is more than one Britney Spears pop. So these are possibilities as upcoming pop and t-shirt sets. And when I learn more, of course, I'll let you know when we find out what exactly is legit here. And then remember that FYE had the exclusive Pennywise with teeth. There could be a black and white variant of that figure on the way. Don't know if this is actually legit. The image that you see here is, you know, not a legit image. This is one that was um, altered from the original. So if this pans out to be true, of course, I will let you all know because that might be one that I'm interested in myself because that is my favorite Pennywise figure. So focusing again on Marvel, Thor versus Thanos is on the way. This is actually going to be a common movie moment, which is available for pre-order right now with various retailers. Um, I know that Entertainment Earth has it up on their website. I really love this movie moment. I think this actually stands above Captain America versus Thanos, even though I still like the look of that one too. But yeah, Thor versus Thanos, I think looks really awesome. That's one that I'm definitely interested in picking up. I think it's pretty accurate to the movie. I love how it has the lightning lifting Thor up in the air and you could tell that he's thrown the ax into Thanos. And of course that has the lightning around it as well. So that is very true to the scene in the movie. I really like that one. Um, again, uh, that one is on the way very soon. And like I said, you can check for the pre-orders on that. And then remember that Hot Topic does have that exclusive Captain America versus Thanos coming up as a Black Friday release. And then also the Infinity Gauntlet and Dome as well, which should also probably be around the time of Black Friday. Of course, when I learn more about these releases, I'll keep you all updated on them. So the show Money Heist, which I believe you can still see on Netflix, it had been rumored that they had pops on the way and they are finally have been revealed. And these are actually coming out pretty soon. These are November releases. If you have not seen the series, I gotta say, I think it's worth checking out. Now the characters can be frustrating because they do make some silly decisions sometimes, but overall, I really did enjoy this series. It's tough to judge the acting because I, I watched it um, dubbed, you know, so it's really tough to judge the acting. Some of the voices weren't so great, but overall, though, like I said, I enjoyed the series. Pretty good crime thriller. And you see the main characters here. They got Tokyo and there is a chase variant of Tokyo wearing the mask. They got the Professor, Denver, Berlin, and Berlin also has a chase variant as well. So there are actually two chases in the mix here, both of them featuring the characters wearing the mask there. So again, these are coming out very soon up for November release. And if you have seen the Money High series, you know, let me know what you thought about it. Like I said, overall, it was kind of rough in some areas, but I did enjoy it. And then Aladdin, of course, has a lot more on the way. I think I've shared most of these previously, but these are, you know, official images here. Some better images of these pops that are on the way. Of course, you see the magic carpet ride there, which I think is pretty cool. I, mean, I think the main detail I like about it is how Jasmine's hand is like, you actually see that it kind of broke the water there. I think that's a very cool detail. I'd like to see more touches like that in the movie moments. And then also the Jasmine pop does have a chase variant, which you see 
the only difference I can see is that she has an apple in her hand for the chase. Um, you know, so of course her hand is facing upwards instead of downwards. And then you see the other characters that are included here. Um, there was a rumored list that it went around months ago and that list did pan out to be true. I do like the design of these figures, especially Genie coming out of the bottle, which I will touch on that figure again in a moment here. But uh, Funko did not say an official release date for these. We just know that these are coming soon. And along with Aladdin, you also see here that they had Pocket Pops, Mystery Minis. And with those Mystery Minis, there will be some store exclusives. I believe they're with Target, if I'm not mistaken there. And then also some plushies and five-star figures. So these are coming soon as well. And then like I said, I was going to touch on that Genie with the lamp again. There is a glow-in-the-dark variant, which is going to be a specialty series variant. I know I had some friends that would really love this figure, so I actually uh, went ahead and made sure I spoke with somebody locally that sells specialty series figures. So yeah, I'm going to look out for my friends that really love Disney with that particular glow-in-the-dark variant. And then also you see here the Snow White Rock Candy, and this is Snow White based off of Ralph, Ralph Breaks the Internet, which of course is Wreck-It Ralph 2. So again, no official release date on these. These are just coming soon. Once they become available, I will let you all know. Now with Harry Potter, there has been a lot rumored and a lot that has been shared with some early images. So I'm not going to run through all these characters here, but you do get a better look at these images because Funko did finally do the official reveal. Uh, of course, one of the standout items here is Ron Weasley on the chest piece, which I think is very well designed. And then you also see here the flocked Hedwig, which is a GameStop exclusive. And I shared recently um, Hermione um, basically performing the magic there with the little cauldron. That's a Hot Topic exclusive. So all of these figures here, Funko is saying that they are December releases, but don't be surprised if you see some of these a little bit earlier than that. So I'm saying basically November to December releases. Be on the lookout for these. And then with The Crimes of Grindelwald, which is a sequel to Fantastic Beasts, um, you see these two mythical creatures here. Um, I guess you would still consider, um, is it Nagini? How you say that name? I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but um, I guess she would still be considered a creature, at least in this form. Of course, if you've seen the previews, you know what's going on with that character, and I know some people feel differently about that. Um, the other creature here, I'm not sure exactly how to say this name. It looks like Zow Wow. Maybe I'm mispronouncing that, but that is a really cool design. I really like the look of that creature, but both of these are up for a December release, and if you are a fan of Fantastic Beasts, um, I think it's, you know these are two of the better looking designs that I've seen personally with the creatures. So Rick and Morty, of course, has more figures on the way. Again, this was a list that leaked kind of early and it is spot on. And um, I do like some of the designs here. I think it's cool that they do have Unity on the way. Noob Noob, of course, is going to be hugely popular. I think I know a certain YouTuber that may have already got that one already somehow because I'm sure he wants to be the first with it. Um, you also see here Tiny Rick, which I mentioned previously as a box lunch exclusive, which is on the way. So if you know the series, then you know the characters here. I think this is a good mix. And yes, there is still a lot more more they can do with Rick and Morty and I'm sure they're going to keep on bringing out a lot more here but do let me know what you think about this mix of characters like I said the standouts for me are Unity, Noob Noob and Tiny Rick those are the main ones that I like out of this set here and then also with Rick and Morty you see that they have pocket pops on the way including two variants of Pickle Rick they have Tinkles and they also have Noob Noob as a pocket pop and then they have a Pickle Rick action figure. And you notice here the action figure, he actually um, can have the rat helmet, which I really would like to see a pop of that. I know they've already done like four Pickle Rick figures, but I still would like to see um, him with the rat helmet on. I don't know if they're going to do that or not. We'll have to see. But you also see here that they have plushies as well. And all these items are coming soon. So we heard a couple of months back that Star vs. the forces of evil was getting pop figures and you see them here and that does include a hot topic exclusive i gotta say i'm not familiar with this series but these are some really colorful really great looking designs so if you are a fan of the series um you know let me know what you think about these but like i said they're they're very eye-catching even though i'm not familiar with it i think they look great and these are up for a december release and i do think that hot topic exclusive is very interesting there Fooly Cooly, I think is how you say this. I think some people pointed that out to me because I definitely did not know at first. But uh, for fans of anime, um, again, you know, 
Funko is doing more and more and I do like these designs as well. There's yet another series I'm not really familiar with, but again, I do like the designs here, especially um, the robot character there, which I believe is Canty. Maybe I'm saying that wrong, but um, that's the way it looks like the name is spelled. Um, but yeah, these are up for a December release. So if you do know the series, let me know what you think about these designs here. Also, let me know if you think the series is something that I would be interested in checking out myself. So yeah, that's going to do it for this edition of Funko News. I know that was a lot of information. I tried to get through it as quickly as possible. And, um, you know, I asked some questions throughout. I definitely want to hear your feedback about these um, figures that were revealed in this video because I think it's a very interesting mix. Funko is trying to mix it up to appeal to different tastes. So yeah, let me know what you saw in this video that interests you. And uh, also let me know what you picked up recently and what you're hunting down right now. But yeah, thank you as always so much for the support. Um, this video was later than normal for me because this has just been a hectic work week for me. Of course, I do have a real job. I have a full-time job and sometimes that job can be very stressful. So yeah, this has been a tough week. So that's why this video was later than usual, but I still want to get a video out for you all. So I hope everybody appreciate it. Please make sure you drop a like on the video. Thank you all so much for the support and I'll talk to you all again real soon.